Today, President Trump spent the day in El Paso, Texas, and Dayton, Ohio, where the two mass shootings claimed the lives of 31 people over the weekend. And amid the grief in the morning, he was met with protesters. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez has this. In El Paso, Texas, where 22 people were killed Saturday, the president visited a hospital and an emergency operations center to meet with law enforcement officials. We had an amazing day. There are a lot of heroes. There are a lot of heroes. A lot of people did just incredible work. But his welcome in the border town wasn't entirely warm. Protesters said the president, who has complained about Hispanic immigrants, should stay away from the largely Mexican-American community, where investigators say the man accused of opening fire in a Walmart targeted Hispanic victims. Earlier in the day, the president visited Dayton, Ohio, where nine people were killed in the weekend's second mass shooting. There, he was also met by protesters. Police tried to calm tensions between Trump supporters and detractors. Come on, don't stop me. Don't stop me. Because they hate Trump. That's why they're out here. He's called Do not allow me. me. Crowds surrounded the presidential motorcade, urging the president to take action on tougher gun laws. Assault weapons are, it's crazy what's going on with these weapons. They need to be restricted. The president did not visit the shooting site in downtown Dayton. Video released Wednesday shows gunman Connor Betts entering a bar with his sister and friend about an hour before his killing spree with an assault rifle. Mayor Nan Whaley says she spoke with the president about what her city and the nation needs right now. I spoke um, very directly uh, what we've been saying the whole time about the need for common sense gun legislation. Before leaving Washington this morning, the president said he's working with congressional leaders on stricter gun laws, but when asked about a ban on assault weapons... There's no political appetite from it from the standpoint of the legislature, but I will uh, certainly bring that up. I'll bring that up as one of the points. There's a great appetite, and I mean a very strong appetite, for background checks. The White House says despite the political back and forth, today was a day of healing and honoring the victims. After leaving El Paso, the president tweeted, the love, respect, and enthusiasm were there for all to see. They have been through so much. Maurice.